It's amazing! You know, it's pretty good. All right, let's talk a bit about Stronghold, the definitive edition on Steam Deck. Yes, I know you've all been waiting. It can't be that amazing, can it? Yes, it can. Although, well, keep in mind, I might be speaking through the rose-colored glasses of a little boy. He used to play this game as a kid and loved it even back then. But at this point, you might be wondering, okay, so even if it's great, shouldn't we be playing this kind of game on the Steam Deck at all? And what is this game anyway? Also, why the heck is this guy stabbing the Steam Deck? Now, that is a mystery for sure. Who would do such a thing to a magnificent Steam Deck? What's wrong with this guy? Come on, man. Let's get to the bottom of it all. Your stronghold awaits you. If those sounds don't take you back to an easier time known as the early 2000s, then you, unlike me, didn't grow up playing this game. So, for all of you who didn't play this game as a kid, in the Middle Ages, when men were real men, and revenge is more than a shitpost on Instagram, we get plunged into an epic battle for survival, as your father the king gets brutally unalived and taken from this world. Build up your armies, construct massive castles, and take back what's rightfully yours. Or not, in this sweet-ass remake of an all-time classic. Before we dive into the performance, however, let's take a step back and see what makes this game so special. Actually, who am I kidding? It's building castles. Well, duh. Big, elaborate, all-expansive, all-encompassing castles. I mean, the name of the game kind of gives it away. Your stronghold awaits you. There are so many options for building, and behind it all is a cool little management sim with all the accompanying bells and whistles. Obviously not as deep as something like City Skylines, for example, but fun enough. And the castles do take the main stage here. There's also lots of cool game settings to play around with. There's the main campaign, an extra story campaign has been added, there's the economic campaign, and if all of that isn't enough, there are a multitude of other cool game modes, like Siege, aka Defender Castle, or Invasion, aka Attacker Castle. But my absolute favorite, Castle Trail, a mix of historical castles to besiege and defend. Super cool. There's also a fun free build mode and a surprisingly robust map editor. And most importantly, all of this for 15 big ones. Like I mentioned before, these castles get pretty huge. too huge for the Steam Deck mayhaps. Let's put it to the test. Just for this occasion, I've erected the hugest castle I could muster. And I know, huge is outliving its welcome, but I can't help myself. And as you can see, the Steam Deck handles it like a champ. Barely any drops below 60, it runs very well. But I'm sure we can break it. <laughs> Time to start the invasion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you have it. As you can see, that initial attack really took the frame rate down, but then it quickly recovered. I mean, the number of units you can put on screen is pretty high, and it's no total war or anything, but it's still pretty impressive. If that's what you're into. Now, the real meat and potatoes. Let's do some graphical tests. There aren't any. There's nothing. <laughs> this game is pretty bare bones when it comes to the graphical department, to say the least. What you see, is what you get. Which makes sense for the remake of a 22-year-old game, I guess. Now, before answering those last two burning questions, epic montage of even more epic castles. Gonna need a montage. It's a montage. So, should you play this game on the Steam Deck? Heck yeah! The touchpads are perfect for it. Check out this nimbleness. It's like an elaborate dance. <laughs> play a lot of strategy games. Total War, Age of Wonders, stuff like that. And it's one of the main reasons I stay with the deck instead of buying a newer handheld. So yes, play this and these kind of games on the Steam Deck for show. Sure. What about this stabby weirdo on the thumbnail? Not sure who let that psycho out, but nobody should treat the Steam Deck like that. <sighs> And that's all I have. If you don't believe how good this game is? Check out the reviews on Steam. Pretty darn positive. That's an official Steam rating. And for 15 bucks, it can be. Check out this video to learn the truth about AAA gaming on the Steam Deck. Like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Oh, that was really uncomfortable.